Animal communication. Animals communicate with each other in a variety of ways. The bee weeks wren, for instance, uses the song to defend its territory when it sings loudly. Other bee weeks friends know that they should stay away because that territory is already occupied. These wrens also have a scolding sound that they use to try to chase away strangers and enemies. Coyotes also have territories to defend, and one way they do this is by howling. But that's not the only reason they howl. If the member of a pack aren't all together, howling can help them to stay in contact with each other. Baby coyotes also begin to howl not long after they are born. Turkeys also communicate in an interesting way. It's called strutting. When a male turkey wants to attract a female turkey, he will fluff out his feathers, fan his tail, and drag his wings. He hopes that when a female turkey sees him doing these things, she will be very impressed. Frogs communicate in yet another way, like turkeys. Male frog frogs want to attract the mate, and, they, and the main way they do that is by making their special calls. Sometimes, these can be very loud. One little frog, called a spring peeper, is only about an inch long, but a group of them can be heard from half a mile away. Like animals, we have many different ways to communicate with each other, such as letters, telephone, and emails. But what about God? How do we communicate with Him? It's called prayer. When we pray, we're talking to God. When Jesus was here on this earth, He loved to talk to God. God is Father, and we should too. When Jesus' and his disciples asked him how to pray, he taught them a simple prayer that we call the Lord's Prayer. Of course, we shouldn't use those exact words every time we pray, but it helps us know what kinds of things we should pray for. Will you remember how important prayer is and take time to talk to God every day? He is listening for you. The Bible says, Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me. And I will listen to you, and you will seek me and find me, when you search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29, 12, and 13. We talk to God when we pray.